Decade, Jesus, no pressure, no pressure. Also new dead, no big deal, no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna be honest off the top, I'm uh, half JC's weight and half his energy, okay? Uh, I am a new father, okay? Uh, my wife and I just took my son to go see Insidious 3 and uh, <laughs> didn't go the way we thought it would. Uh, both he and I were lost the whole time. Uh, no, I have a new baby boy. He's amazing. Uh, my kid looks fucking exactly like me. It's weird. He's got the same hairline, same lips, same little bags in his eyes. He's brand new. He's already exhausted. I'm like, dude, how are you so tired? You just got here. It's funny. My kid looks so much like me that I question if my wife's even the mother. I'm like, did I have this kid? <laughs> I love my son. It's great. I do kind of feel like having a kid on the current planet is like a is like inviting people to a party that's running out of shit. I mean, it's kind of a dick move. Like, hey, Tony, should I come over? Oh yeah, definitely come over. Definitely come over. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. There's beer there right now. I'm uh, running out of that. <laughs> but there's food right now. None of that. Is there air? There's nothing here. Just please come. I don't want to die alone. <laughs> So we're gonna have two kids, uh, just to really uh, <laughs> put some stock in the game. I can't help but be optimistic, you know, being a new parent in this current world. Like, I feel like my kid might be the one that, like, you know, cures all wrong. See what I mean? Like, my kid's like John Connor from the Terminator movies. <laughs> or Neo from the Matrix. Or Noah from the Bible for the old people over there. You know? <laughs> I have to believe that, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wait for him to come online and be like, all right, Anthony, uh, do you know how to fix the ozone? Do you know what that is? Do you know how to, you to get rid of plastic? It's killing us. That's what we're going to go on. The fucking human species, most advanced species on the planet is going to die from plastic? What? A straw? Get the fuck out of here. I can't get a straw at a fast food drive through anymore. That's bullshit. You know how dangerous it is trying to fucking drunk drive home from a McDonald's without a lid on? And I'm worried about sea turtles? You know what I mean? Uh, side note, Tony Klein, black dad, okay? My wife's black. I am a black dad. Uh, it's already hard enough out here for us black dads. I need a straw, people, all right? Can't have my kid growing up without a father. It's irresponsible. Uh, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, my wife's from South Central Los Angeles. Thank you. Where are you from? Green Bay. No shit. I knew I liked it right out of the gate. You know what I mean? Anyone else from the Midwest here? Yeah. Where are you from? There we go. Anyone from Minnesota? Yeah! Okay. All right. Ohio. Do we have Ohio? Fuck Ohio. All right? Those people. We didn't need them here anyway, you know what I mean? The rest of us shovel enough snow for all these people. That's how you know when someone's a good person. You went through four seasons. I moved out here to LA at 20 years old because I realized I was doing like time for a crime I never committed. You know what I mean? Like every day, relentlessly shoveling my car out of snow for no reason. Just to go to a, do a job I could do anywhere else, alright? I did construction in the Midwest, and I'm like, why am I working in a deep freezer? <laughs> Look at me, I'm a fucking, I weigh 165 pounds, I weigh myself today, no big deal, right? I shake all the time, I'm like a human chihuahua, I can't even give my wife my jacket anymore. I'm like, no, nah, I'm, I'm totally warm, baby, so put the jacket back on, you're ridiculous. I still try, though, I mean, I'm still, I'm still chivalrous, while I shiver, yeah. <laughs> I have cold hands all the time, which is great, you know, to be romantic with my wife. Because like, I had frostbite. Do you ever get frostbite? Anyone else? Any of my Midwest friends in here? Yeah, it's because I played too hard as a kid, you know what I mean? My mom's like, come in your mittens water. I'm like, no, mom, I'm making snowmen. Now my hands are numb all the time. Which is great when I'm rubbing my chick down, because it's like a you know, bonus cooling massage. However, every time I touch my kid, he starts screaming at me. <laughs> There's a dead person holding me. I don't know if he's crying at that or the fact that I look like him 35 years in the future. 
He's like, oh my god, the future is bleak. <laughs> this is what I end up doing. Uh, I don't know. I took my wife home to meet my father. Uh, didn't realize how white Wisconsin was until we got off the plane. The population of black people went up like 500%. I was like, oh shit. I just take her into dangerous territory. <laughs> Because I didn't really realize how much weird shit my dad said when I was a kid. My dad used to always say these weird rhymes and riddles. He'd be like, now remember, son, robins stay with robins and sparrows stay with sparrows. Exactly. Never thought about that for 25 years. Until <laughs> the point where my dad's driving with my black wife. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, he's talking about birds. <laughs> well, babe, let's go be dead. <laughs> It went great. My dad just put barred her with compliments. Like, I'm so happy you make my son so happy. I love this relationship. And then I got kind of quiet and awkward. Kind of like this room. <laughs> my dad just started filling the air with words. He's like, uh, I love black people. <laughs> my friend Jimmy, he's black. Works for the cable company. Not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> just started covering all bases. He's like, yeah, it's a dyke couple down the street. They're okay. I'm like, damn, we shut the fuck up? Far more offensive than the science. <laughs> yeah, I realize now that I'm a black dad, I have like a guest pass the N word. Uh, don't get all stiff, I'm not gonna use it, but I will be equally offended by it. <laughs> like, what did you say? <laughs> that is my son's word. <laughs> How dare you? I, I'm offended, I'm offended. Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to be a good dad, though, because I had a terrible father, if you couldn't tell from that last story. Uh, <laughs> uh, when I was eight years old, I wanted a pair of Jordans, the shoes, and I said, hey, dad, can I get some Jordans? He's like, oh, what's that? you want a job? I'm like, no, that's not at all what I said. He's like, get in the truck. We drove down to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. I got a paper out at eight years old, which is illegal, as you can imagine. <laughs> I got my paper out how most rappers get their homes in their mama's name. I got my, my paper up my sister's name, all right? I was Tina Klein paper girl for four years, you guys. That's how long it took to save up for those shoes. They're expensive. And, uh, at eight years old, I was too small to carry the papers. My dad did what any good dad would do. He got me an adult tricycle. <laughs> which in the 80s, they called it a retard bike before they kicked my ass. up by an 18 year old kid named Kenny Stucker. <laughs> I come back home, I busted up my bike, my dad's like, what the fuck happened to the bike? I'm like, Kenny, he's like, Stucker? I'm like, yeah, he's like, that kid's 18, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, get in the truck. My dad grabbed his cigarettes and his keys and we drove right up to their house. My dad knocked on the door, 18 year old kid answered, my dad cracked him in the face. His dad comes to the door, my dad cracked him in the face. <laughs> Next thing you know is my dad's getting a hold of the cops. My dad said the nicest thing he ever said to me. He said, no one beats my kids but me. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Uh, <laughs> good guy, good guy. We got a DUI together, me and my dad. And uh, <laughs> Let me tell you something from experience, you guys. Going to jail without your father is far scarier than going to jail with your father. <laughs> First time I went to jail, I thought my dad, I'm like, this isn't for me. <laughs> I was getting my ass hit. I'm like, no, it beats me, my dad, where are you? <laughs> I'm Tony Klein, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>